Maggie, man. It's your boy OG Rome, aka Mr. Everywhere mm -hmm. Reppin' Road Dogs Entertainment. I want to welcome everybody to Road Dogs TV, mm. episode 10, man, with my co-host to the right. You already know what it is. Your boy Deja Dad's representing Road Dogs Entertainment, smoking big blunts or no blunts. That's a fact. I got my homie down the street. What's good, Ooh. homie? Hey, what's up? It's Glitter Factory Road Dogs. Got a hash wrap. I think we might just fire this thing. What? Hey, goddamn it, oh man. Oh, my gosh. And you don't want to get that party started, man. Yeah. And right now, we got our special guest, my homeboy. It's like my brother over here, man. The man, man with a lot the time, plan. Man. The man with the master plan, man. Yes, it is. The one and only, man. Logo, man. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's right, man. Glad to be out here, man. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, look at you. You're looking super fresh I today, bro. Yes. What it is? Hey, you know what? Part of the stunners, man. I'm, I'm, I've been out here for a minute. So that's I've right. Been, I've been blowing trees, and yo, my eyes are kind of low, so <laughs> I decided to put the stunners it's, on. Hey, you those know, are man. bad. As you should, man. You look fly, yeah, man. You look yeah. fly like a pelican. Drip. Yeah, bless, bless. Check it out, man. This is Logo Man. Yes. People want to know how you got your name, Logo Man. Let's start from the fucking... Beginning, bro, because yes. I'm about to rip your ass apart. <laughs> I want to know everything about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know Because what? I know your goods. You know what I'm saying? I know hey, what you've done in this game. So check it out. So a lot of a lot of people give themselves mm -hmm. names, you know, and I was never one to do that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, I, I, I let the people, you know, say, you know, who this I was. Just, you mm -hmm. know, like I let them tell me who I was. Not in that, you know, factor, but I let them kind of name that. So, uh... Logos LA is my company, is my brand, mm -hmm. and uh, one right. of my customers' uh, uh, wife uh, knew me as the Logo Man, you know. Yeah. So I met her uh, at a club. We we're hanging out, and one night she, uh, they introduced me to her. And she's all like, "Yeah, I know who you are. You're the Logo Man." And ever since then, I kind of ran with it. Fuck yeah. you. Know what I'm yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, name right you know, there, Logos man. LA. You know, logo man. And I was it's like, self -explanatory no, but it's funny though because a lot of people do graphics and logos, but nobody decided to get. It's like you took the whole shit. Yeah. But logo man. You took the whole brand. You know what? And then, uh, man, I'm passionate about what I do. And you're fucking good at what you do. And I'm blessed to be, you know, doing what I do. And, and thanks to all my clients and everybody that rocks with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I always, I'm my own competition, you know what I'm saying? I challenge myself a lot. And um and that's just a blessing, man. You know, and it's gotten me a lot of places. You know, and I work with you, man. Right. You, you, you're your worst you critic. Know. You you always try to top yourself. You 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 you, you ain't always excelling. You're always doing hard shit. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you get into this logos? Like, people want to know how did you get into that shit? How, like, you know what? You're I've, been, I've, been, I've been I've been doing graphic designing since like high school, man. I've been doing I've been doing graphics and promotions like, since like high school. And um, I was just doing my own race. That's, that's key. Because if you're doing it in high day. school, you're standing the fuck out. A lot of the people that I know that from high school that were doing what I'm doing, nobody has been able to grab the talent that they used back in, you know, when they started. But they taught you. And, they you actually know, had you, course. You're brought with it. And then, right. and then be able to, you know, brand yourself in the future with it and utilize your knowledge in the future. And I kind of reinvented myself and still utilizing the same tactics and techniques. Right. And, and then, um, you know, and here I am now, you know what I'm saying? Naturally, mm -hmm. just doing me. And all then natural. naturally, naturally, yeah, just natural, it's all man. organic, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't force nothing. You know, there's logo. I mean, there's graphic designers. You know when that's logo man's design. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. You know, everybody has their signature. You were, I'm not sure if you were looking for it, but you accidentally found your signature, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, and there's know. nobody out there that does canopies like you do. Look at this whole matter of fact, motherfucker. <laughs> <back over here. laughs> this whole setup. This whole setup, bro. Yeah, talk this that motherfucker shit. right here, man. Yeah. And, and that leads me to the next thing, man. So, how, how did, what is your recalling of me and you connecting, bro, bro? So, check it out. So, I was just telling them before we got in the interview that me and Rome got, like, history from way back in the day. Mm -hmm. So, um... He hit me up for a price on a canopy like six years ago, and it feels like about eight to ten years ago almost. And then like I was telling his boy that I got turned on to him because he, you know, he, he got turned on to me, and I started following him, and it just started like you know respecting his grind and his hustle, building then, a relationship. Yeah, yeah. And building then no, you know what? You know yeah. what it is is that I, I I started learning his value. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and and That's I became a, good a follower value too. You oh, know, yeah. because you know what I'm saying. You got to understand the grind. That's what show me love. You know. Man. And uh, um and then it got to the point where I just you know I was at a point where look I, I'm fucking growing and I mm -hmm. need more great people around me 
and um, and that's part of becoming a great boss. Yes, sir. You know, and then I reached out to him Listen. and told him, look, look, uh, Rome, what's up, man? I'm ready to, you know, to, to, you know, I'm ready to fuck with you. You know, what yeah. I'm saying, put you on, and then you know, get you on the bully shows that I'm doing, and you know, this this like this cross promote, and and I just build. And he was all like, hell yeah, let's fucking rock. And, and well, there, you know what I'm saying? Same. And then yeah, after yeah, that, yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. man, you know what? After that, we just went on a tour, and it lasted like a whole fucking year, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It lasted like a whole year. And uh, the crazy shit about it is that ever since that he came on, he brought a lot of value to my shows. Thank you, brother. Uh, he brought the visuals. Um, you know, I told him, look, I'm going to make your head of entertainment, you know. And we, we have a lot of discussions. Me and Rome will be building the That's high, the thing you know about it. Yeah, that's the thing about it. This fool came over to the house. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times there's a lot of bosses in this industry. Yes, Nobody yes. helps each other. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And this guy was the first one that, that, that Actually, put his ego down, down and yeah. said, let's work together. And as soon as that happened, it was easy for me because I'm a workaholic. Yes. You don't have to ask me to do it. I'm going to do it. The yeah. same way for him. I remember going to his house one day in that dope-ass road dog sweater. This who was like, nah, bro, more, 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 more. more. Yeah, this who was just like, he wanted to make still waiting for me. And he's waiting, and no, the whole, and that, that day, bro, believe it or not, is when I knew that as a friend, it, it was more than that. It was more of a friend to want to make me look yeah, good. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Not only that, this guy is a hustler. He he, he, he recruits, and he has people across the country come to, his, to his events. Amen. Yeah. Pays for my fucking... Uh, uh, rooms, Whatever you pays do, you for my, my, my performances. Yeah, this guy is a real fucking hustler. I, I, yeah, 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 I, 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 never, I always give people their value. You feel me? Not mm -hmm. only that, man, it, it's blessing to work with a motherfucker that a doesn't boss, expect bro. much from you yeah. because he does exactly. his own shit. So what happens is you go over and beyond from a motherfucker. Boss. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boss, man. And, and I appreciate Cheers. that, you know. And there's not too many like like yourself and the, you know, and the road dogs. And that's why we are here, you know what I'm saying? We're networking and we're still doing out here. And then just to let the people know, too, I rock with them, you know what I'm saying? These are, these are like my family. And, and, you know, this is like my home. That's right. Since what, day one. I'll be, at hey, I'll be over here. <laughs> I'll be over here knocking at Rome. <laughs> Yo, let me get in there and fucking get some studio time. And I swear to God, so let's talk about that, man. So check it out. <laughs> hey, this how, guy how is just like me. How much my grind is just so fucking strong, It doesn't right? stop. It doesn't it stop. stop. I'll, be, I'll be over here. He's, he's just the same way like me. I'm a fucking rapper, and I'm over here. We pay for something once, and then we go and get it or do it ourselves. So... This guy say, fuck that. I'm not going to be paying for commercial brands yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing when I can do my own. Numbers. So I have the studio. He comes over here and now his, he does his own commercials, bro. Sounds commercials. just like 93.5K. <laughs> it sounds like all that shit. And it's his fucking voice. Yeah, and yeah, together, yeah. literally. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to just do it. Yeah, he inspired me. So yeah, now yeah. now we have a template. And, and you allow me to do it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a, it's a, good, it's a, it's a good collaboration. I always come over here and try to bring out the best out of you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I know that you have a lot yeah. to give. Uh, as well as your team, and I told you that since the beginning when I met you, you know what I'm saying? And then now, I know you guys are interviewing me, but <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys know, you know, I, I observed these guys, you know what I'm saying? And I watched them, and I seen the value that he brings, not only as OG Rome and, and, and as the Road Dogs, but, you know, days are... I'm not on know, my team, bro. And, and, you know, Fade and, and your boy right here, uh, you know, Glitter, Glitter Factory... I mean, you guys have Coda. look. You guys have a lot of value, and I always emphasize <laughs> on that. You know, my my whole success is based on my whole success is based on how much value you hold as a person, and that means how much can you give before you fucking take. How much can you give? <laughs> Listen, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that are gonna take. They're gonna see opportunity and take, mm -hmm. and that's fine and everything. That's but right. longevity doesn't come from taking. No, especially yeah. when you're trying to, it's you know, building, if bro. somebody's treating you good, you don't just treat them bad and, and take from them. You know yes, what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta build that. You gotta yeah. build a relationship. You gotta build it bigger. Yeah. And this community is not to be taken advantage of. And you can see a lot of the fake in it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been doing this shit for a minute. Not just only dog shows. I'm just doing yeah. life and Hustle. promotion and, and, and being real to myself as a fucking artist, as, as a promoter, as a business owner, as whatever you want to fucking call it. I clean yeah. up as a cleanup crew. I know the whole fucking yeah, thing. You know what I'm saying? So, gonna get so no at the end of the another. day, at the end of the day, it's never about money to me. It's all about how much, how great of a show, how great of an experience can we create and give to these people. Together. Oh, you know and saying? I want to get to that. This motherfucker so, here, creativity. So, so, you know, with that being said, that's, that's, 
that's my whole science on how I create value for myself and then how I can help other people create value for themselves too because you got to represent your brand. You are your fuck. Before anybody buys what you're going to sell, they're going to buy into you, you or not. You the you, person. You are the first product that they're going to buy into. And if you don't sell yourself correctly right. and you don't treat people right, they're not going to buy into exactly. you. Outside of that, you have to have some knowledge and know what yeah. the fuck you're selling to. Because a lot of people are selling shit for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You yes. know what I'm saying? Do you want to be in the best hands? Go to a pro, not some guy that says that he's fucking doing something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't buy a Mercedes Benz from a person that's not driving a Mercedes Benz. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, yeah. and don't leave out presentation. Because everything he said, write it down, motherfucker. This is a hustler's mentality. That's why I fuck with this cat right here. And he was supposed to be my first fucking interview here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was just on tour again. I'm, hustling. I'm traveling, I'm traveling, you know, traveling, right? traveling, going different states, and guess what, where he's going, I'm going, that's nothing but love, but check it out, man, like, presentation, everybody does events and everything, but when you want to go to a business meeting, don't you want to wear a nice ass suit to make sure you like that fucking job interview, mm -hmm. but this motherfucker does over and beyond everything, my background, the fucking events, the banners, you see yeah. that big ass banner yeah. in, in, in my house, bro, yeah. that's the biggest banner I've ever fucking seen, yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, that was the first show we did. I remember Long that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took yeah, over a on. whole fucking this block. This looks like a mini yeah, billboard. Yeah. Yeah. You don't go small, bro. You go big. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. Is, is a real entrepreneur to the point where everything he makes, he puts it back in. Oh, my God. Let's talk about the fucking Industry Expo. This motherfucker bought out the Industry Expo over 10, 15, 20K just to fucking lock that facility, get cops, get fucking the city the whole involved. Kid, you know, I, you know. sometimes you just got to have a great team and money's not an object, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to bet on yourself, you know? Okay. Like, when you're, you got to bet on yourself to be that winning horse. And I'm not good to bet on nobody else. So I got myself a good team. And um and then we we we've been able to put a lot of great things together, man. I don't do yeah. this shit alone. A lot of people just see me. They just see me. Oh, look, man, you're doing this, but no. Guess what? There's a lot of great people behind me. You know, see, what that's, that's, that's what a real star does. does. That's, that's what a real behind. boss does. Shout out to you're team. gonna get the shine. Yeah. Uh, LeBron or Kobe doesn't get an interview and talks about I'm himself. I'm just here. He you know what? It. When you look at me, I'm here. I'm the spokesperson. I'm the salesperson. I'm selling you, you know, everything. I'm telling you. I'm the one bringing it to your attention, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the person yeah. that I am. But behind me, there's a lot of great people, man. I employ a lot of people. How about that? You know what I'm saying? He does. And, and, um, and you know, I just, I'm just here to share the success that's here. Yeah. But now with everybody, you got to be deserving. And the people don't, be, I, you know, I don't just deal don't with bring everybody. Shit to the table, you ain't you know what I'm saying? Good. I'm like, you got to be Italian to fuck with me, you know? Yeah. I got to check out your answer. You got to been been doing this shit yeah. and been doing this shit before I even fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> you see, we have a lot of people that come into our show so far. We have famous people. We have wrestlers. We have everything. Comedians, everything. Rappers. Everything so far. Can of celebrities. Yeah, can, everything, right? Yep. But this is the first guy here that I've known to take money risks. Money. Straight up 10, 15 Gs. Flat. Flat, bitch. So all you rappers, all you motherfucking entrepreneurs, you ain't talking big money. This is local man. He don't play around. You know what? Like, like I said again, you know, money. I know how to fucking make shit happen. That's what I think. He got his bets on himself. And then his connections, he he has he has to make his money back. Yeah. He, he's not gonna stop that he makes his money back. You know what? Like I see I'm it. Not, I'm not, not, but who sets up the event? I Boom. Am. You see, but he's not sitting there waiting for. He has employees. Yes, he, he has the whole part. I have, paid I have for, the whole staff. I have but the whole staff. he gets there early. He leaves last. I get there early and leave last always. You know what I'm saying? And and and, yep. and that's what a true boss has to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm there working too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to fucking pick up the broom and, and sweep up some dog shit from the floor and that's whatever like, the case. That's, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Go down, that's, that's, you know? that's like what I say, I bro. I example. That's like what I say. I, I don't get excited for 10 grand. I stay hungry, bro. I'm starving, actually. You know what I mean? I don't... I don't. Because I, once you get full and you're satisfied, it's over. Yeah. It's yeah. done. Yeah, you know, and, you know what I mean? And I'm with you that. You have to stay and consistent. I'm, and I'm with that, but I, I also want to... 
to let people know something too. There's a fucking key behind that. Mm -hmm. You can't be too starving where you're doing things outside of your own nature. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta stay within your own limits and mm -hmm. say and be true to what you're doing and to your to your hustle. And there's longevity in that. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, you can't jump into somebody else's hustle and think that you're gonna just you know what I'm saying be successful. That doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. You know. And then when you do, you end up stepping on toes, and those toes could be part of the foot okay. that end up whooping your Speaking ass. You that, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of that. You started in the industry helping out certain individuals, and you as a visionary, and I say that, because I see a lot of people on my team, I, I want them to be their own boss, and they are, and that's the reason they're part of my team. Everybody here has their own shit going, mm -hmm. you know? You're a visionary, so you used to work with individuals, and now you're everybody's worst competition, but you're, fuck, bro, they smile in your face, don't they? They do, man, you know They do. Saying? Dang. But I swear to God, they be hating, bro. His graphics yeah, is off the chain. If you go Get to away. an event or if you go to any dog <laughs> event in Southern California, Arizona, and any fucking states here, and now it's spreading that way, look at the canopies. Look at the canopies on top, it says. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Logo, man. You know, the, the, so I'm everybody's pointing his shit. I'm going to tell you something, and, and I, I don't ever tell nobody this to blow my horn, but here's a part of history. I am the reason that the dog show's community looks like it looks right now, all branded. Branded, You know yeah. what I'm saying? I came into the community and there was a lack in that, and then I, I tied into that market, so I, I, I built it, you know? So I, and I dealt with things. all the top dogs in the mm -hmm. beginning. Excuse me, I dealt with all the top dogs in the beginning. Shout out to all my clients in the beginning. They already know the grind. I was making this shit out of my shop, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then uh, handmade and everything, and then now we have digital machines that are doing all the work and everything. We, you know, we stepped it up and we we just grown. But on, honestly, man, I am the reason. Right. That you are. All these, you know, I don't care what you say. Fuck everybody. everybody and then everybody said else. It. And then everybody else that came along too, man. Shout out to them too, man. There's enough room for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, there's only one logo, man. So if you want the best, <laughs> fuck with the best, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Motherfucker, there's a waiting and then, list. And then how about this? There is a waiting list. And, I, you know, I, and, and not because I want to be like, you know, talking <coughs> nothing, you know. I'm, I'm an artist, man. At the end of the day, I'm a first of all. First and foremost, I am an artist. And I want all my artwork to look good. And that That's represents right. me, my brand, before it represents you. I have yeah. to be Logo Man approved before it represents you. So if, so I, put give my name on it, shit. if I put my name on it, then you better know that you're fucking with the best shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and I stand behind all that shit, but... You know, that's just how I do business, and, and I keep it a thousand, and I want to be able to bring value and be able to guarantee, almost guarantee success mm -hmm. to my clients, you know what I'm saying? Put him in a winning path. I'm the fucking yep. pitcher that fucking shoots, you know, you that pitches these you. Month, though. Hey, oh, I, I'm the pitcher that pitches the fucking home runs, you know what I'm saying? And my clients are fucking winning, and my clients are winning <laughs> fucking, you know, glam slams and shit. You, you don't know, have so. bad reputation, bro. I wouldn't fuck with you if he was on and had, man, I see people that's on. You don't have that reputation. People might hate on you because you're successful. You know what? And I'm not perfect. You know, know? exactly. But you don't have bad reputation. It's to the point where you're planting seed everywhere you go. You know go. what? And that's key, though. I do. And then people got to understand that. That I do have. I do have a lot of planted seeds. I plant seeds everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I have planted seeds in in all the states. And I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? And watch out when your logo man pulls up to your state to say what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm there. Hey, when you. we be at the show, the logo man, hey, we be in a motherfucking dolly cart. Racing around the, the whole fucking place, running the whole fucking shit. Just hey, it's just. I've been doing man. shows. I've been doing shows. A lot of people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of new people doing shows, but I've been ball. doing shows. Go go go! It's good. Um, and that's just getting me crazy. Hey, yo, I, I, hey, yo. Yeah. you know, I, I don't want to cut my team off if they have any questions, but it's because shoot, I know this shoot. cat, right? No, he's just shooting. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, no, yeah. people don't know that logo man. Oh, it's musically inclined, though. Yeah. yeah. Mu tell them about your music. Yeah, so I had a record deal with Universal Disa back in, like, 2004, and we did some Spanish rap, you know what I'm saying? And some people that know me know what's up with that. You know, you can even look me up on YouTube, and I'm not yeah. too fucking fond of all that product <laughs> and shit, because I, it's on some shit that we got hired to do, and we're, you we know what I'm saying? I just, you know, grew up with some hip-hop and shit, and I got hip-hop in me, obviously, you can tell by the way I talk, but... You know, I'm ready to spit around right now, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing with you, I'm playing Hit with you, no, but... Yeah, 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 y'all got me so lifted that I'm, I'm probably will. But anyways, though, no, but, but at, at the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I am an artist, you know what I'm saying? And I respect the whole grind, the whole hustle. I respect the levels 
that you know that an artist has to go through and I respect you know so when somebody gives me a price I value the artwork and I value with the time that goes in it and I understand it as an artist and I and I can be able to pay that's for the, shit. See, that's the you difference is saying? that you actually understand that yeah. some people don't understand that, bro. It's just... Because they don't understand the value. Because yeah. they don't the time, know... The time. The effort. Know? Time. Because I'm okay. trying to work all the stuff you work no. either. Art has value because... easier work. Art has value with beyond yeah. from what mm. square-ass people fucking see. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If you're a square, you can't see art. You're, yeah. you know, you're you one dimensional. Understand it, bro. If you're a square, you shop off a fucking mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. You're shopping off the mannequin. You look like the fucking mannequin at Macy's. That's, That's what squares that. do. Uh, yeah. That's a fact. But you know, if you're ready to understand some artwork, and then you know, you, 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 <laughs> no more mannequins for you. All right? No more mannequins for you. I'm not even gonna look at another man. So, my boy. Okay, so so since I met him, so I met him. I inboxed him, trying to get some uh, some canopies from him. Later on, we did a show. We knocked out that show. From there, we did a whole tour. It wasn't a show. It was a tour, state to to state, city city, fucking Arizona, Arizona, up north, north, yeah, Cali. Exactly. That shit was amazing. We were up and down. We were Um, out. Exactly, and uh, and then I told him at the end of the deal too and shit, I, I was gonna give him a canopy, you know what I'm saying, for just rocking with me and shit, and that's what I gave him a canopy. This guy is a back wall, bro. and this whole table set right here. And this is priceless, yeah. bro. Um, oh yeah, that's you know what priceless, saying? dog. Priceless. Uh, so I, 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 like I always tell people, you know what I'm saying, you gotta treat your people right, you know what I'm saying. Like if you have, you have to put on a, you have to be part of a winning team in order to <laughs> be winning. You know what I'm saying? If your team ain't winning, you can't win as a team. Like, yeah. no. Like, your team like, ain't winning, you're failing. Bro. You're failing, you know what I'm so saying? So, it, it's that so. relationship to now where he can ask me for anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on here. What, what I want to know is a story that Rome does not know about. That's, that? a, that's a crazy one. Yeah, Either in the, in the rap industry or in the booty industry. Whichever, I, said, hey, I told him about the, uh, the oh. fight. There was only one fight that I remember. But other oh, than that, shit. any crazy, like he was saying, any crazy... You know what? No, you know what? I mean, man. It has to be one, though. Come on now. Everybody. Hey, 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 Females show a lot of love, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, Didn't you guys have something on TV, fucker? And we were, we were actually on Don Francisco on TV mm. and shit, so that was fucking that's crazy. Fun. Like, I'm one of Don Francisco. the very limited Latinos that have been that, on Don Francisco and shit, um, you know? Sábado Gigante. Sábado Gigante, yeah, we were on Sábado Gigante. Me and my brother, me and my brother. Get his ass on here, bro. Fuck! Yeah, so we had to be on that. Oh, yeah, he's still kicking. Hey, and check it out. I still get checks and shit like that from the music game. Obviously, they're not fucking Justin Bieber fucking checks. Well, hey, whatever's you know what what a blessing. Checks are checks. So I do get checks, and I, I used to post shit, stupid shit like that before, like you yeah. know. But I don't do all that shit, you know. Yeah. I'm really more about what I'm doing now versus what I've done in the past, and right. and that's what a true right. motherfucker does because I'm not here. My value is now, and what I've done in the past have created the value that I have now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't really focus on that shit. And, I, and you already know when I come over here and I drop my vocals and, mm. and I'm doing my commercials <laughs> and, and, and we're just knocking out work because I'm yeah. very versatile. You know what I'm saying? I could just transform into that person yeah. that I need to be to be able to <laughs> fill in so, those so, fucking shoes so. and be able to get <laughs> on the <laughs> Because then you go, ha, ha, he goes, ha, ha, bro, yeah. put me on. I'm ready, coach. <laughs> so what, what's, your, what's your, like, flavor of... of, of Spitting. Is it rap? No, it's hip hop. No, I'm hip hop, man. I, I grew up. Right. I grew up with you know. I grew up with straight East Coast. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Even though yeah. we're from the West, but you know, like yeah. I'm more into that East Coast hip hop, into right. that real hip-hop. rap, like boom, boom, bap, that boom, yes, bap yes, type yes, of yes. shit. You know. So I'll um, cam and all that. Yeah, like yeah. and um, music. So um, and I got a lot of music that we haven't put out and whatnot. I'm probably mm. my brother's been fucking telling he me. He showed me. Up, he went uh, to the archives. Yeah, whatever. There's cool. massive this shit, so we can put it out. So if you, if you hear me with some shit, eventually, don't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I you, you gotta know, release it before you die. I don't give a fuck you what know, you I gotta be eternal. I don't care what you say. Yeah. I gotta be eternal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My last album was called Unfinished Business. It was all the songs that I was never. I was too shy. I didn't care about. I didn't think they were the best. Yeah. I'm like nah, I'm not gonna keep them. In what the song? Computer. What song really stood out in that CD, bro? The unfinished business. 
Like you uh, felt like you really like oh, well, right. the first two, the uh, Big Bad Rome, talking about just growing up, Boston. Yeah. Look, 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 I want to tell you about how how um how with Rome mm -hmm. it was real easy to work with. You yes, know what I'm saying? Because he had he has a uh, he has a sound that's very versatile. You know what I'm saying? That's very inviting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then then he's a very inviting person. His energy yes. is great. So it was easy to put him to play in my shows. You know what I'm saying? Of so. So when we brought him in, that for real song, everybody was hitting me up about it. Yeah. Where's that song? Where can I get that song? Where can I get that song? So I know that it was started to work, you know, especially for him. And I was happy for that because I like to be in position like, to yeah. put people in he position. He said, you capitalized all the vendors, yeah. and I did. You know, so like, and I put him on, I'm like, yo, I'm going to bring you all to this show, and uh, I want you to introduce yourself to everybody, yes. you know, let yourself, my, my clientele, my, my following is it's now your following yeah. now. Be humble, you know what I'm saying? Talk and go to and, and deal with everybody. We do that every show, bro. Every show, we do that. We make sure, even it's the same people, it don't matter. We go and do that. That's just the thing. And the energy always has to be right, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, and you guys always brought the, the, the right energy, yep. and that's why I fucks with you guys. And, and, yes, and it's been a good tour, man. And you know what? As a matter of fact, we're, we're ready to do for another one, man. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I just thought about it, bro. It was fucking 19. The end of all 2019, yes. I was 19. looking. I have a fucking banner right there that I'm going to post on my house. Yes, that's like 19. your fucking birthday, bro. Yeah, man. We, we had a hell of a year that year. <laughs> man, man dude, I can't wait. Hey, so we're doing OG Rose's a... birthday party again this year. Are we? We're doing it. You know what? Is that, is that, and is that, is that, and I, it's official. Wait, what? It's, it's official. official. Is that official? Oh mask on or no mask? We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. By that time, everything will be open, so you're going to be all right. I'll tell you. Tour. Yeah, so I have a lot of homies that tune into my life from Michigan and Florida and other states, you know. Um, have you ever did any um, shows out there or connected with people out there? You know what? Definitely the, the bully game and the dog game is, is worldwide. Yes. So we're, yes. We're, we're, we're everywhere. That's right. And, and as I speak to you now and I'm on my live and I, I'm, I'm seeing my, some of my people from the Midwest and we're not logging in and That's shout right. out to them. And then um, we're pretty much everywhere, man. Mm. Our community is so big. Mm. That uh, um, you can put it right there, yeah. Our community is so big that oh. that uh, um, that we're just touching every state. There's really yeah. no there's really no place that we're not at. So whether it's me or somebody else doing a show, you know, we're our presence is felt there, and we have a community yeah. that's already established and, and pretty much every Keyword state. community. Yeah. yeah, you built that resume, yeah. bro. And you know what? And I'm not the only one doing this. And shout out to everybody else that's doing yeah. it, and they know how they are, who they are. You know, I hey, salute everybody, you, and they, all the bosses recognize each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, you got this motherfucker. Hey, dog, no, I can't I'm wait for you to do. <clears throat> and I'm not trying to spoil shit. it, but you got this like a triathlon Holy going. Shit. And like, this guy thinks of so many shit. And he probably don't know what I'm talking about right now, but I might have to tell you. That two weekend, that weekend shit, like weekend shows, like you do at, at, at fucking Alapalooza or whatever, from Saturday and Sunday. Okay, yeah, yeah, like the EDA, uh, EDA um, yes. EDC shows. Yeah, so you know what, we, but you know, uh, there's some people already moving on stuff like, uh, ideas like that. Obviously, I didn't want to put my ideas out and, uh, you know, without having the platform or the location to be able to execute that in. And um, we're... You know, trying to do things on a major level where we're taking this to, you know, even bigger stadiums and coliseums and whatnot, nah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so I, I'm not here so just big. to, and I'm not talking about making myself rich off of shit like this, you know? I'm talking about become, building a bigger, bigger, bigger platform. platform. You know what? Building a bigger platform, bigger platform so that we can yes. be more respected, and then, you know what I'm saying? And then, versus being out here, versus being out here, you know, in parks and, yeah. and, and, and you look, if you're fucking spending twenty, thirty thousand dollars on a dog, you deserve to be in a bigger platform you're showing your LA dog. convention centers, right? Oh, shit, bro. That's right. So, you're, you're, so, come on now. That's that's right. Right. Convention so yeah. with that being said, that's real shit. nobody is thinking about that. Yeah. You know, outside of some great people like myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we come in to help you with the commercials to get the sponsors and the sponsors gonna pay for all the fucking videos, shit. And, and just like the big companies do. And then I understand the whole marketing. I understand because I am a marketing fucking genius, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me to you know blow my own horn. No, I know how to bro. put. I know how to put the pieces together. I know that I'm not capable of doing everything, so I grab the, the best people and put it together to work for me, and I pay, you know, and I ask, what are you happy, you know, yeah. doing this for? Yeah. Because I want you to be happy when you're dealing with me. Yes, You know yes. what I'm saying? I don't want you to... It makes everything better. Everybody's, everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's everybody's happy. happy. You know what I told this fool? He goes, nah, you know you really expect pay. the best thing Nah, I'd rather pay him. Nah, I'd rather pay him up. And, then, no. and after, after that, bro, it's like what happens is it's good karma. Yeah. When somebody treats you right, they're going to go out of the way for you. 
And then when they even ask me, hey, uh, shoot me that money, I like, yeah, cool, you know, like, what do we owe you, what do we owe you, you know what I'm saying, like, we're cool, we're like, yeah. Yeah. We're, like, we're not here to be like, yo, oh, well, you're acting funny and shit, yeah, we're yeah. not that funny type, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, money is being made, yeah, we're, gonna, we just, we're gonna treat everybody right, you know what I'm saying, and that's what's right. gotten me, that's formula. That's and then, that's and then formula. that's what's gotten me far in, into a lot of places, because I've always treated people right, that's yes, my yes. first, my first investment mm -hmm. was into myself, and being able to treat people like I would treat myself. Exactly. You know I'm took, I'm, I'm, I'm and took and a risk. And if it's not up enough, you pay them and you don't call them again and you move on and you find no, someone you know, else like exactly, you, you know, and, and exactly. And then there's That's a lot of people shit. that I don't fuck with after that I dealt with him the first yeah. time. Yes. 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 Based on what's best for what we're doing, uh -huh. best for the occasion, best for the project, best to execute what we're doing. So, and then I'm not always right, but I'm not always wrong either. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean, pretty much be more right than I happen to be more right. I happen to be more right than I am wrong. You know, <laughs> the homie days is say you guys gotta soak up game like a sponge. Yep. Yep. I'm trying to tell you, I don't even have to say no more. Yep. You feel me? This look, guy right here, look. everything he's saying is all facts. It's true. It ain't no problem. My color look. is facts. Look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Game is this. Game is this. Game is if you want to. If you want to make a million dollars, let's talk about this. Question. Let's talk about this. And, and I'm almost there. And I'm almost there. If you're fucking with a guy that's almost, I said to myself, I'm gonna fucking touch a million dollars, and I'm almost there. And if you want to fucking make a million dollars, you gotta create plenty of value for yourself, and not only for yourself, for people around you that can help you create more value. Because if you empower other people around you, you can create more value for yourself because you're formula. creating value for other people around you. Yes. And people don't understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's Thomas Edison. That's the big boss shit. That's man, the you, big man. You're not going to win. Bro, can I get an applause for that shit? <laughs> <laughs> you slacking, bro. Oh, What's going on here? Oh, damn. Hey man, man. For, for those people that want to get into this industry God, to be a damn. boss or the dog game or anything, man, what kind of word of advice would you give them before we got to start giving shout outs? Look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Just just do what you're gonna do and, and, and be true to what you're doing and people are gonna acknowledge what you're doing. The fake people are not. Only the real people. And if you stay true to it, then you'll start getting acknowledged. People start coming up to you and telling you, I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing. You don't gotta wait to be fucking accepted by people that don't understand what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, what oh, the sorry. fuck? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, go, go, hold that. So, um, yeah, you, you can't, you can't worry about people that don't understand what you're doing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta just keep doing you and be true to yourself first. And you'll find success based on that. Based on the love that you're putting, the passion that you're putting, and the time that you're putting into whatever it is that you're doing, yes. you're gonna fucking yes. win. You're going to fucking guys, win. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is if, you don't have, if you don't do right that, there. if you're not ready to sacrifice <laughs> that, then you're not ready to win. If you don't fucking, you, if you don't have a vision of you doing something, you know what I'm saying? Not counting the money. That's not part of the fucking doing something. Passion. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a vision of how you're going to get this money, then you're never going to have that fucking, that, that vision of you counting that money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to have a value. You gotta create value for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've done that, and I fucking put a lot of people on. I, I, right now at this point in time, you know, I play a lot of the back row position to a lot of the events that are going on. You yeah, know what I'm course. saying? They come to me. They say, "Logo man, what I, um, can I get this? You, know what I'm you saying? are the man, dog. Logo man, can I? You know what I'm saying? Hey, can I hire you to do this? this? Yeah. Can I hire you to do that? Host, and I'm you like, hosting yes. now? And, uh, and uh, can I hire the MC or to judge? And I'm like, cool, you know what I'm saying? Who, who's working with you? And, and I'm very humble about it, but I'm also, people are going to make money and whatnot. But I also want them to understand the value that we got to, we have a responsibility to give back, not only to take. You know what I'm saying? So once I put my name on something, we got to make it a great experience for the people. So when you see me show up, and I show up and I do something for the kids, and I start giving exactly. money back to the kids, you, you know it. what I'm saying? Know that I'm always putting down for the culture, because of the kids is like the future, you know what I'm saying? Oh we gotta my God. Give it, we got to give them an experience and just always a memory to remember that when they came and the logo man was there, that they were shining $500. too. $500. It was not, the it, it was not just the grown-ups. It was not just the grown-ups. It was the kids, you know what I'm saying? So Check I out. always like to remember that Yo, they there, you know? Rome, that mic's on fire, bro. On fire. <laughs> oh, this guy's on fire. They look like it, but this guy's on fire. The kids... 
now does, not only does everybody have an experience, not only does he get the biggest parks, not only does he get the biggest events, not only does he get everything organized, food, everything, the kids leave with top 500, middle 300, third place 100. We went to Texas and we gave away two thousand dollars. Get the fuck out of here! And the first yes, place yes. got nine hundred, and the other kids second oh, and third yeah. got like five hundred each and stuff like that. His local saying? man started that. Trend. And then uh, I, you know, and it, just check it out. A lot of the stuff, a, a lot of people don't understand this. A lot of the stuff that I do, I didn't invent this shit. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? He just makes it. Better. I didn't invent this shit. I learned it from some of the great people around me. You know what I'm saying? And I happened to be able to twist it you and make like it into my own. Yes. And be able to fucking share that experience it. and bring that type of energy to the people now when they're not being acknowledged now. Because sometimes your time has passed and a new person is going to rise. And guess what? Logo Man is it. And, you know? and, and it's not like they have, fuck it, I'm going to raise $2,000. No, what happens is he don't have $2,000 in his pocket. No. What happens, he does it like this. I got $100. Who's going to top me? <coughs> Then all the parents, everybody starts topping each other. And yep. you end up with 2,000? Oh, yeah. my well, I started it with three, with 300. And then my I mean? boy put 200, so we're at 500 right off the top. <laughs> and, and, you know. and then, and then, then my boy, and my, my boy, shout out to my boy, Matt Giggle. And then um, he was all like, yo, this Texas is known for doing it big, so let's come out the pocket. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, Texas. and then, we, hey, man, like, it was all love. Bit, yeah. It was, it was yeah. all love, man. Yeah. I had never seen that type of stuff. And, you know, that was, that's what made me proud. To be able to see a community come together and be able to fucking shine together and give, bless the give kids, yes, bro. bless the kids oh and, and create some good experiences, and you know, mm. hey, you know what? At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's, yeah. it, these these dog shows are not just for you know the adults, it's for, for the, the adults, kids, it's for the kids and, and the dogs. We yeah. forget about we we get we we get it all caught up with. Oh, I sell dogs for more money. Yeah, I have the most breeds. There's me. always politics and there's always drama. So, yeah. but we always try to create. And try to always keep in fucking and, in mind that it's about the let the dogs speak for themselves, yeah. and it's all about the next generation. Let's cater yeah. to that, and everybody bring your A game and be ready to participate. participate and you know what I'm saying? Right. And congratulate and each other, and congratulate each other even when you go win. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about Rome when we perform. <clears throat> He gravitates to the kids, <coughs> the people, bro. We give them stuff for free all the time. Yep. And you people see like the you smiles that they have on their face? Yep. And then they come, oh, bro, I'm Daisy, or whatever the case may be. Can you sign this? <laughs> <you? laughs> of course. Yeah. Hey, fuck wrong. Me. Me. Hey, you didn't what give it to me. Let's What's take up? a picture. I'm two years old. Thank you for the blood. No, <laughs> yeah. no, see? No, 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 he, he's, he's been. Nah, he's, thank you, brother. Yeah, you guys need to check out the other episode. No, 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 no. You got any shout outs to anybody, man, before we start going out? You know what? I, I There's so many people. I just want to say that that the bully game changed my life. That's right. Shout out to the bully game. And and I'm here repping for that. The culture. I'm all That's about right. the culture. You know what I'm saying? And the I'm man. To, the one right on, on the tip top of the mountain. Yo, That's I'm you, here bro. to give. Before I take, I'm going to give and shit. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to die giving. Let's That's go. right. Bless your heart, brother. That's right, man. Tell everybody, everybody where they can way. find you, man. That's Tell everybody where they can That's find you. Hey, at Logos A. Lay, uh, at IG, uh, or at Logos, uh, Logo Man, and uh, at TWC Bully. I got all kind of crazy shit. Yeah. 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 Look, look, shout out just, to this fucking fog machine in here. Exactly. He's doing a good job. Mr. Daisy, Daddy. Hey, shout out for the Road Dogs and OG Ron for having me, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I, I will come back and we're going to fuck up some shit. I'm going to bring some videos and we're going to show you part of my world. I want you guys to fucking have a little backstage look at what I do, too. That's, That's right. right. And, That's right. And, um, and I'm looking forward to coming back. You heard it here, man. Guys, live, you know straight and direct, direct man. man. Logo man, in the building. you know our special That's guest right. man. You yes, heard sir. it right here. Go and subscribe to Road Dogs TV. Shout out yes, to all sir. our sponsors. All Stay tuned, man. And if you don't know, now you know. Ain't man. no business like Road Dog business. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>